Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the farm. It is early morning here. Well, it's 8 a.m. considering what you define as early, but for us it is early. Let's set the time to 15, and as you just saw, as we started, 8,000 just entered our account, and that is because we sold our old greenhouses from our old location. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is to buy some greenhouses, or a greenhouse actually, for this location. Um, specifically, we're going to go with a large greenhouse or an Elm Creek. We had uh, two of these medium greenhouses. Uh, I'm going to buy this one, and I think I'm going to be placing it right here. I don't think there is a better place for it on our ground. This is the sheep area. Of course, we could just make an entire <laughs> field of greenhouses there, but I think up here is going to be nice and out of the way. We could add it here as well, actually, for better... Uh, yeah, that might actually be better... Unless, actually, that shed could be useful for something. Um, let's place it right here. I think that's fine. Let's go there. Boom. Done. And let's, let's take a look. Let's jump in the tractor and let's give it a look. First off, though, before we do that, let's quickly check the animals. Uh, they have food, so that is good. And the chickens also have plenty of food. So that is perfect. We are all set there. Let us not drive into the wall. Where did we place it according to where we are? Oh, just up here. So here it is, our brand new greenhouse right here. Perfect. That is excellent right here. So we can give it water right here, which is actually a job that we need to do right away. But we're going to set this to lettuce, I think. Uh, tomatoes, lettuce, strawberries. Tomatoes, lettuce, strawberries. Let's take a look here. So let's find lettuce, if possible. Well, oh, strawberries is here. So at the current time, top price is 500. Top price is 1,000 for tomatoes, but 2,000 for lettuce. So lettuce seems to be the most valuable thing. So we're going to activate this one. Now we just need to give it water, uh, of which I don't know. There we go. Of which I don't know where to find that, actually, to be completely honest with you. Uh, we have plenty of it. Actually, I might be able to take it from the sheep. I might be able to take it from the sheep. Yeah, I think that's doable. So let's rush down there and grab our water tanker, if I can remember where we actually placed it. It was over here somewhere, I remember now, actually right by the sheep. Right there. Handbrake turn. That, that's not doable in this thing, unfortunately. <laughs> Probably, I'm turning the wrong way. Probably good. Uh, a tractor doing a hand, handbrake turn. That would be a very, very interesting sight. And I'm not sure how on earth that would work. Chicken, out of the way. Beep, beep. Right. Don't know actually which way this gate is open. going to open. Inwards. Perfect. That suits us. Now, these sheep are not going to run away. They are well-trained. They are very well-trained, actually. Sheep. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go in, and we should be able to just refill it. Maybe? Oh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Refilling now. Just had to get it right in the right spot. Perfect. We are at 100, and I'm pretty sure that we're going to have to go once, twice, three times, two or three times to fill up this greenhouse. But that, once that is done, that's just going to be generating lettuce, just like the sheep are generating wool, and the chickens are generating eggs. And we can sell some nice, fresh, organic lettuce. <laughs> that's so cool. All right, turning around here. Should be able to do this, and then overloading. Yep, there we go. Filling up the greenhouse. Let's see how much we're actually filling it. Uh, yeah, that's gonna... I think this thing has a capacity of 6,000. Yep. Ooh, one, two, three-ish trips in total. That shouldn't be too bad. That's quite manageable. All right. Getting the final load now. This is the third load, and that should fill it up. And we should be good for quite a while before we have to do this refilling again. Hopefully, anyway. Uh, otherwise, we might need to invest into a bigger water tank. Because <laughs> if we have to do this every day, which we won't, 
but uh, if we had to, then that would be, yeah, that, that would get repetitive. And since we don't need this water tanker anywhere else, I might as well park it by the greenhouse, just not that close. Just leave it right next to it. So we know exactly where it is. Right there. Perfect. And we should be able to see it in here as well. Yep, in the production chains. As soon as it's done. Perfect. That is good enough for me. Now, next thing we need to do is check the status of our fields. We need to see how grown everything is, what is close to being uh, ready for harvest, what isn't. And also, let's check the used machinery real quick to see if we got anything useful. What's this? A cultivator. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need any of this. Would be lovely with a new tractor. That is one thing that I really, really do want. I do really want a brand new tractor, but yeah, money is uh, not on our side <laughs> at this point in time. Let's take a look at the map. Uh, let's take a look at this right here. Right, field one is ready for harvest. These two are on their way. So we need to get this harvested. Um, right, let's take a quick look. What is the weather going to be looking like? Pretty decent. All right, we're good. Let us do our first harvest in our brand new farm. Now, I don't think this job is going to take long at all because, well, the field is tiny. It is tiny and it is the field that I do want to uh, is this where I attach? This is the field that I want to turn into a grass field. Nope, I attach it on the other side. But yeah, I want to turn it into a grass field. That way we can use the grass for the sheep. And if we get a really good amount of grass, then we can sell, sell it as silage, essentially. Because we have quite a few silage pits. But we'll see how far or how good the yield is. I'm just going to attach this and then I'm going to turn off the engine because the next thing that we need is the harvester, which is right in here. Nice. And we actually have lights here. Nice. So if it gets dark, we will be able to see. Uh, we'll have to go into this view real quick just so I can attach the trailer. There we go. Let's get back in where it's a little bit more quiet and I can hear my own thoughts. We're actually going to turn right here to take this exit, even though it's a bit tight. But I think it is going to be the easiest to get out of with this ginormous header behind us. Um, hmm. Where do I need to park this in order for me to be able to attach? I suppose right here would do. Yeah, because then I can, I think, drive like this. Then back it up very slowly. There's the trailer. Definitely almost didn't hit that pole. And perfect. That couldn't have happened more coordinated. <laughs> Okay, uh, I just need to get past the trailer, which is another issue. This should do... Right, let's lower. Uh, I think... Turn on harvester higher, pipe out, enable straw swath. We don't want straw swath, we do have the mod chopped straw enabled which will apply a layer of fertilizer, which makes sense because it takes the remaining of the plant and chops it up into small bits and leaves it for the ground to compost. So I think we're ready to just turn on and start harvesting. We're harvesting, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on the brand new farm. Ooh, and the yield. Look at the yield on the minimap. So this is precision farming. We can see the yield in the green, where it indicates how well the yield is. And it's green, so that's over 100%. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, this is sorghum, so it will actually not um, chop the straw up and, and apply another layer of fertilizer. 
but it will with things like wheat and stuff like that. But not sorghum. I believe we can mulch this though. And get some extra yield out of that. We'll check the mini map when or the, the map when we're done. I think I'm nailing this pretty well actually. And yeah, the the yield is I think actually pretty good. Not too bad. I just need to remember if there's a yep, there's a post there. <laughs> But yeah, this field is going to be harvested very, very quickly. Not a problem at all. If we do, if we are able to mulch this, which I would assume, then we will need to lease one, or we could look at potentially buying one today. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, the the yield over here is yellow. What we will also do as soon as, if we mulch it, as soon as we have mulched it. We will go ahead and take uh, samples of this field, so we can see what um, what different types of soil we have, and so we can apply the right pH value and nitrogen and all that good stuff. So we might have to spread some lime onto here as well. Right, well, I'm gonna keep at this, and I'll see you as soon as the field is done. I might actually have to pull over the tractor, I didn't expect this, but I might actually have to grab the tractor and empty, well, I will have to empty the combine here because it is filling up a lot faster than I thought it would. I did not expect this amount of yield. So it's going to be interesting to see the final result, but I'll see you at the end of it. Alright, final pass. I'd say that that, for the, considering the field size, I would say that that was a pretty decent yield. I am very happy with that. We do need to check when sorghum is the best to sell, because I don't think it is now. But with the field done, we can go ahead and take a look. So if we go into here, go up, sorghum. Yeah, that would be January. So we're actually getting close. We're not too far off. Uh, let's open this. And I suppose let's move the tractor. It's going to be easier, most likely. And what are we going to get in total? 6,000 something liters? I think maybe. Sounds about right. Let's find out. 6,805 liters. I'll take that, you know. <laughs> I'll take that as a win. Now it is time to put it into our silo until we are ready to sell it. Looking very, very healthy and good indeed. Alright, shut off the engine on this. Detach. Nice. That's a very, kind of a scary sound actually. Alright, let's get back to this. Actually, I want to check the map real quick. Um, so it now says harvested, these rolling, mulched, uh, yeah, I think we can go ahead and mulch this, um, before us putting in the grass. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing next. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. We need to take some soil samples first. We can see the, the amount of stuff that we got out of it, the yield, but we can't see the pH value and whatnot. Uh, yeah, seems good. Yep, perfect. <laughs> Alright, put the harvester away. We're not going to be using that for a little bit, or at least not for the rest of today. I am inside a wall. That is not supposed to happen. That, there we go, I'm magically by the tractor now. Right, we need to be mulching, so... Ooh. Hmm. That's a header for sunflowers. We're going to need to lease something like that uh, very soon. But if we are to mulch, we need to find up oh, the mulcher section. Uh, I would love to buy one, but the working with one meter, 
two meters, three meters, that's a possibility. Something like that would be awesome. But so would this. Uh, yeah, that's not... I think, because we're going to be doing a lot of mulching, I think, on this farm. Uh, I think getting something like this, buying it, is going to be the best course of action. Because if we lease it, that is 190 right off the bat. And per day that we have it, that's 100 euros. And then per work hour, that's 200 if we keep it for a couple of days because we have the sunflowers coming up and the corn, I believe, no, the... Okay, so for one, two, three, four more days. Yeah, let's just buy it. Buying it. Done. It's been done. It's been done. We need it on the farm. We do need it on the farm because, like I said, we're going to be doing a lot of mulching uh, on this farm to get the extra yield and the extra benefit. So we're going to be mulching first, I think, and then we can take the soil samples. I'm not sure if we can take the soil samples with uh, the crop remaining on the field. We might be able to, but let's just mulch it first, then we'll take the soil samples. Here we are, where is my mulcher? Where have you put it? All the way over there, alrighty. Uh, let's take a look at the width compared to the tractor when we back up to it. Hmm. I was imagining three meters to be wider. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Hmm. Well, depending on speed when we actually run with this thing, I didn't even look at the horsepower. I forgot to look at the horsepower. That's a... That, that can be bad if you forget to look at the horsepower and then buy something that your tractor can't actually pull but I think I think we'll be fine I think we'll be fine and I think the speed will be pretty decent all right let's check it out I mean we're here we might as well maybe not right here maybe like in the corner <laughs> let's do that see where I'm at lower don't think there's anything to unfold. Just turn on and use. Get the tractor straight. Yeah, that's a decent speed, you know. That's actually a very decent speed. Hopefully I'm doing it straight. Don't think I am. That's why I like wider... ...things. You don't as easily miss. Right, well, I'm gonna get started with this. This is going to take a little bit. But again, as soon as we're done with this, we'll take some soil samples and we'll see where to go from there. Yep, I'm way off. Need to get used to this. <laughs> I'll be right back with you. Alright, final piece, and I think we will be selling this thing back. <laughs> because the working width is just not ideal at, at all. I, it, it's not ideal at all. I mean, I'm imagining doing field, um, field 6 with the sunflowers, which I'm pretty sure we can mulch as well. And it is like 2, 2.5, 3 times bigger than this field. It would take 4... Ever. So I think we're gonna resell this one. I'm gonna keep it because we have it now. Um, but then for field 6, I think we will lease a bigger one. One of the bigger ones with like 5.8 meters working with. See how that goes. Also see how much money that will cost because maybe it is more worth it to just lease it. Well, it won't be, but 
for us in this situation right now. I mean, if it's 21,000, we might buy it. But yeah, this one is just a little bit too not good enough. <laughs> so I'm going to place it right here. Sun is slowly going down, so we do need to hurry it up. I was actually tempted to go ahead and grab a bigger one in the middle of that. Right. Uh, where is our... So let's check the map. The map should say... Yep, it is now mulched. So we can now go ahead and put in a grass. Now the thing is... Um, there's one issue, and that is we have we have a big machine, the weeder, that can also plant grass, but the ground is not cultivated, and I don't think the game will allow us to just put seeds directly down unless it is a direct drill. So we'll need to use our direct drill, which is just going to take a little bit longer, unfortunately. Otherwise, we would need to get a... Uh, not a cultivator, but a... Um, I don't remember what they're called for some reason, but the ones that just literally just touch the top of the soil, loosen it up a tiny, tiny bit without going deep into the, into the soil. But right, we have this thing now, um, which is going to be interesting. I'm looking for a sphere to appear on the map. Take soil sample, unfold, oh, unfold. There we go. So we need to have the field within that green sphere. Can we get the entire field from end to end? Oh, wow, I think we might be able to. At least this end. All right. Uh, fold, lift, take soil sample. We can actually head out and we can see the animation of the machine doing the work. There we go. That is one taken. And so now the minimap will be brown. We can now head over here, and I don't think we can... We might be able to... Maybe... Can I... Can I get everything included in this one? So I only have two samples? I don't think I can. But maybe it's good enough. I think it's good enough to, uh, right here. Take another one. And then we will send them in for analysis. There we go, taken, lift, fold in, and send them off. You will see the results shortly. Gonna cost us 200 euros, that's fine. And then we will get the result very soon. I think I'm going to put the soil thingy above here, because we will be using it for field six and seven as soon as we can. So let's see if we have gotten the results in. We do indeed. So this is sandy loam and this is loam. So we can go ahead and see the pH value. It's decent, actually. I think I think that's pretty decent. Uh, environmental score is looking better than just normal. <laughs> Nitrogen, uh, I believe. So let's go in here. Right here, we can go all the way down to precision farming, soil type, soil value, nitrogen value. Next to the pH map, you can find the nitrogen map. This indicates the current level of nitrogen in the ground. The optimal level of nitrogen depends on the plant crop and the soil type. By walking on the field and having a look at the field info display, you can see the current and target nitrogen levels of a specific spot on the field. So I think that we need to plant the grass first, and then we can adjust pH and nitrogen. I believe pH, uh, or oh sorry, yeah, nitrogen is with slurry or manure, and pH is with liming. So as we're standing, it says nitrogen, 55, 45, it varies, and pH value is 6,000. So yeah, I think we need to get grass in, and then we will be able to see what we need to set this to. So let's waste no time while we still have a little bit of daylight left. Don't know how much seed I have, actually. I might not have enough seed. I might not have enough seed. We will find out very, very shortly. But I think we might be working into the night here. So let's take a look. Uh, change seed is this one. Change it to grass. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough. Variable seed rate not available for grass. Okay, so that's interesting. Normally it would uh, then vary. It would adjust the seed rate depending on the, the type of soil. 
But it's not doing that for grass, apparently, because if we do this, if we change the shifter to wheat, it's set to auto. So that's interesting. But anyways, let's unfold this. Okay, this is bigger than I remember it. <laughs> Alright. Lower. And let's direct drill grass. And we'll check the map after one pass, just to make sure. Oh wow, that's a... Oh, that's a worker. That's a worker. I meant to <laughs> beep. <laughs> What's the button for lights? I don't remember what the button is for lights. Well, you know what? <laughs> there are now, that's for sure. <laughs> and I think we have enough seed. I think we have enough seed for this field, actually. I will turn on the beacons. Those I do know how to turn on. Right, let's double check the map. Well, we're not on the road. And, yep, that's grass. That's definitely grass. Very, very good. And it's already growing. Nice. He's rolling. Yeah, we can roll this as well. And we do have a roller. So, a lot of work are going into our fields. But, we want to get every bit of value out of this as we possibly can with all of our fields. With all of the different methods that we can that are organic and good for the environment. Now I just need to do this. It shouldn't take too long to see this entire field. I don't think anyway. Not with this direct drill. Granted I can get it in the right position which I am clearly unable to. There we go. Got it. I'm a professional. Not. I'm really not. <laughs> Alright, gotta do this one. Then we're gonna jump into a time lapse and get this job done. This is very satisfying though. And considering... Oh, that sign is definitely gonna get in the way. Sorry. It's my sign. It's my... Okay, I guess it's not gonna get in the way. I, I was going to say this is my sign, this is my farm now, but... Okay. I guess if that's just how that's that... I mean, if the, if it's like that, then... <laughs> Alright. I'll see you... When this fi When this field is done. Alright, just this one and one more pass, and the seed did indeed last. So that is perfect. I hate these poles. I mean, I I have to like them because they're giving me power in the house, but when it comes to farming, yeah, I, I hate those. <laughs> I really, really do. They are very annoying to be dealing with. But if I just do this backing up correctly... I should be fine. Yep. Look at that. Masterful. <clears throat> Maybe not quite. Anyway, uh, after this we're going to end this episode because... Um, well, it is getting very late and dark and we want to work in the daylight. So in the next episode we're going to be rolling this field. We're going to be looking into liming and also manure. I know we don't have any cows or pigs for that matter, but... I do have a solution for that, that I'm pretty excited about to try out. And there we go. Field is completely seeded with grass. Can I get around that wall? Yes, just about. Ah, nice. A good day's work, I'm gonna say. A good day's work. But yes, we will finish this field. Ooh, dear. <laughs> We're gonna finish this field in the next episode. And yeah, we're gonna go from there because you never know what happens on a farm. And let's put this away. Not gonna need it for a while. Don't know when the grass is actually going to grow. We can check that out in a bit. 
I'm gonna hit that as aren't I? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I thought I was gonna hit that. Let's try that again. There we go. Much smoother. Perfect. I again that's my beep. I don't know how to toggle the lights. I'll figure that out. I know how I can turn the hazard lights off. Okay, maybe I didn't. Hold on. Eh, there we go. Got it. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, I need to check uh, the thing that I just said with the grass. We can take a look in here. Grass. Yep. Pretty good. I mean, good thing I didn't do it in December and did it in September instead. <laughs> but that's going to be it for this one. Uh, but first... I keep saying that. I do apologize. But I do want to show you our house because I didn't show this. In the last episode, but we can actually go inside. Look at this. Gonna close up for the day. This is where we can sleep. We have a TV, which we could turn that on, but that's cool. Access to our garage if we ever get a pickup truck or something. Can't seem to close that door. In here, we can change our clothes. We have a kitchen over here. I like this. But yeah, like I said, that's gonna do it for this one. Hope you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until next time. Goodbye.